What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. It is like 8.30 in the morning. This is the earliest stream I've ever done. <clears throat> and the reason is that Vintage Cube goes away in about two and a half hours. Draft takes about an hour and a half. So then I can get into a second queue real quick right after this one. If everything goes according to plan. So, fingers crossed that everything goes according to plan. All right, seven out of eight. In it to win it. Hunter, stop. He just comes in here and he's like, I'm gonna start licking myself while you're, while the, the minute you start streaming. I get strip mine? I mean, we could hoof it. We could definitely hoof again. I don't know how many times I can hoof though, you know? How many hoofs do I have in me? You guys are saying hoof, so I'm just gonna take the hoof. Like, we all know it wins games. We all know no one takes white cards. We know all the things. <clears throat> um. Not a great pack, but also not a terrible... I mean, like, it's not great for anybody, right? So we're not, like, missing anything. It's not like there's great... I think we're just taking, like, Deranged Hermit. It's not great. Avacyn's Pilgrim's fine, but if it doesn't tap for green, I don't want it. I don't care about it. Maybe it's fine. Am I overvaluing the white part? I don't know. Maybe. I feel like this is easily replaceable, and this is not. I also, if I'm taking Hoof, my only incentive to be green... Like, like I have no incentive to be green-black. You know what I mean? Like, if I took, like, a, a, a mid-range green-black card, I would I'd be fine taking this. But this isn't the green-black deck. This is just a mono-green ramp deck. I'm gonna take Hermit. I think Hermit's good. <clears throat> I think the other dude is very replaceable. I'll take Tri-Builder. Again, not a super impressive pack. Nothing like Grim Monolith or Mana Vaults or Tinkers or anything. Just kind of like medium cards. Eh, search is fine. I'm just, I mean, like, we're just on the green train right now. We're just taking all the green cards that, that fit the bill, so. <clears throat> Oh, I like Turn Timber Symbiosis. I don't think I have yet to get anything good with it. I don't think we've actually been able to play it, but it's a nice, like, kind of tooth and nail, kind of green sun zenithy card. Also, Metamorph. 11 cards. Three cards are going to come back from this pack. Hmm. What up, a card? Um, it's definitely one of these two. Oh, biscuits! I think it's Metamorph actually. <clears throat> Metamorph can copy things that we might have trouble dealing with, like Blightsteel Colossus or a Ulamog, things like that. I think it's just Sword here. Scavenging is actually fine. Yeah, I think like Scavenging is.
Oh, acidic slime. I do like an acidic slime. Very much. <clears throat> Alright, so, I mean, again, have you seen the new Mandalorian episodes? Everything but today's. And, uh, no spoilers, my dude. is fine. Carnage Tyrant. Interesting. Or we take Casualties and maybe... I think Casualties is... The upside in Casualties is higher than a random Carnage Tyrant. And the Avacyn's Pilgrim came back. <clears throat> Interesting. That's always good to know, because now I feel like I'm very comfortable in my... in the. Huh. Is it worth going into black? I think so. I think probably. It's good to know, because we're probably the only green drafter here. Capture those dinosaurs. And Thrag Tusk <clears throat> comes back as always. Romping, stomping dinosaurs. It's a dinosaur. Huh? Chef Boyardee. Dinosaurs. Even if we're looking at black, we take Pilgrim there. I, I disagree. I think that I think Pilgrim is infinitely replaceable. You have Noble Hierarch, Draga Tree Speaker, Finhorn Elves, Llanowar Elves. Uh, I mean, like, you can get, like, five other dorks. Birds of Paradise. I mean, Search for Mars is also one drop, let's not forget. So, I, I don't think we're doing that, that poorly for one pack. One, two, three, four, five, seven, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, Fauna Shaman's fine. I think two dorks in one pack is com completely fine, and if we get two in every pack, it's six. I mean, six is very reasonable. Also, now we have a slime theme. An ooze theme. Hmm. I guess we could have taken the rest there. I thought it was like Lingering Souls is a really good card, and then I just forgot that we were, might be black, so... Um, yeah, actually, Elves of Deep Shadow, while I don't, I think it's literally one of the worst. Um, it does get us black, which makes our life easier. And, um, this pack is pretty unimpressive. I think we're just taking Elves and <laughs> calling it a day. And, oh, I forgot Arbor Elf when I was mentioning, and Gilded Goose. Like, there's literally two more guys here. <clears throat> which is funny, one of these will definitely table, so I'm going to take Verdant Catacombs, because that will not. And uh, it definitely helps our black splash, especially if we get a bayou or a. Uh, what's the other one called? You guys know the one. Wow, no green cards in here. Vista? I guess Vista's fine. Opposition is nice. Um... Yeah, I think we can just take Vista here. Mm -hmm. Thoughtseize is actually fine. I mean, and by fine I mean good, but like, there's where are the green cards? I assume there's going to be a few next, right?
Olamog and a Woodfall Primus and a Noble Hierarch. See, this is what I mean. We're going to have a ton of opportunities for these guys. <clears throat> well, without Tooth and Nail, I think these are worse. I think Woodfall Primus is probably where we want to be. I also don't have Channel. Hmm. I, I love Woodfall Primus. It's, it's one of my favorites of this type. Although if we get Channel, I'd love to have an Ulamog, so it's really difficult. It's a tricky situation. I'm going to take Woodfall Primus here. I don't actually hate Karn. It's like just a card that's going to draw some things. Finale's fine. <clears throat> I'll take Finale. It's not exciting, but what can you do? Might just be Misty Rainforest here. No, yeah, let's take the Misty. Or it could be Gruel Signet. Hmm. I feel like our green deck is not shaping up, unfortunately. Like Misty's only good if we get Bayou or I'm gonna I'm gonna trust that we can do it. Oh, Questing Beast is super nice. Yeah, I'll take a Questing Beast. Like I can just win games on his own. Yeah, Blue Kronos is still just fine. And Arbor Elf comes back, just like you do. <laughs> Definitely looking for a Bayou and an Overgrown Tomb in the next pack, and I think we'll be in really good shape. Jojo MKE, thank you for the resub. Really appreciate you, lady. Euro. You know what? I'll just take a Euro. Eureka, huh? I think this is going to be the pack with either Noble Hierarch or Ulmog in it. Because I remember there will be three cards left. And we currently have 27 total picks. So the next pack will have three cards in it. Fingers crossed for a Noble Hierarch or an Ulmog. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah! Love it. Our channel dreams are still alive, guys. Ancient Grudge is fine. That's wild. I'll put you over here with the X drops. Not bad. I think this is actually fine for one more pack left. I think Pelucranos is a little sus. Scavenging using the main is a little sus. Finale is fine. We do need some more more ramp, like some some. We need like a guy as cradle over fellows type ramp. We need like the big the big guns. Channel also wouldn't be terrible. There's an overgrown tomb and also a mox sapphire. Well, the overgrown tomb is what we wanted, but the mox sapphire is what everyone wants. Did they update MTGO? What do you mean? Correct. One of those things starts with Mox. Overgrown Tomb might table. Like, both Casualties and Maelstrom Pulse tabled. I mean, if you're talking about the, the interface, the interface was changed, like, four months ago. So, technically, yes, but, I mean, it's not 
definitely not very recent at this point. Eureka's castle. Eureka. All right. Well, this pack's pretty meh. Gargaroth is... Gargaroth, Gargaroth I think, is great. Elder's fine. I think I'd rather just have the Gargaroth. Oh, yeah. If you haven't played in a year, then this is definitely an update. This is just a draft update. Like, everything else looks the same. Yeah, I want the Gargaroth. I mean, you have my Elder's going to table anyway. Who are we kidding? Eureka. How thick is too thick for a normal size hot dog? Um, you know, I don't know. Upheaval. Wow. I do like an upheaval a lot. I don't actually think we need Assassin's Trophy. We also have a Euro. I'm going to take the upheaval because maybe we can be an upheaval deck. Because we have <laughs> Misty Vista and, and, and Verdant are, and Mox Sapphire are basically the same as the black ones, right? Like, I mean... We have a dual land of blue green, and then a, a land that can pick up a breeding pool or a trop. Thank you. And we also have Mox Sapphire, which is even better. So maybe we're just. I mean, and, and that being the case, we're not going to take another five drop. We will take a phantasmal Shut image. Shut up though. and take my money. Oh, okay. Want some Friday fun? Five color super friends. Try to get at least one walker in every color. Un Jordan, okay. Unfortunately, this is the last day for 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 the cube, and it's only up for like another two hours. But it's coming back later in the month. Would you mind if I did it then? Like, it's going to be back for another, like, four or five weeks later in in December, I believe. But I'm going to... Let me open that up and save that. So I, I also have a Super Fritz one that's also a Planeswalker stipulation. So, um, cultivate. Yes. Let us cultivate. Control magic. Eh, maybe Basalt model It's worth it. Mine requires... The Golos one's a little harder because you have to actually open or, like, get Golos within, like, the first few picks. Otherwise, you're like, oh, no. So. I guess it's control magic. Hmm. I think it's, it might just be Basalt Monolith. Yeah, I'll take a Basalt Monolith. Yeah, Dryad's actually... It's not great. It's not terrible, though. We didn't get Oracle. We didn't get Corsair. Like... It's funny, because we got a lot of... Uh... So the question is, like, do we play this... This three-mana blue card? And this six-mana blue card? Or this three-mana black card and this six-mana black card? That's the question that we got to ask ourselves. And considering this Mole Drifter, I'm leaning towards blue. Look at this Mind's Desire and Tendrils in the same pack. Somebody's going to be sad. Take out this guy. Take out this guy. Yeah, I like the blue better anyway. Okay. The Overgrown Tomb came back? Shoot. That's something. Alright, let me... Mark this guy down. Oh, Riffling Cloud Skate, though. Okay. Five color Super Friends. Try to get at least one walker in every color. That seems fine. That seems very doable. Assassin's Trophy also came back, so they're basically like, you know what? You can pick. You can either be blue-black or you can be uh, blue-green or, or black-green. 
Yeah, we're definitely easily able to board into the black. This is like four black sources right here. Creeping Tarpet? Maybe we're just both. Maybe we're actually just a mid-range uh, Sultai deck. Maybe, the, yeah, the, the Creeping Tarpet really actually kind of cements my, my theory that that might be the case. Also, I'm glad we took the Moloch because I almost forgot. I've been getting up earlier because I've been actually going to bed around uh, 11 o'clock. Like, on the day of Spider-Man of the PS5 release last week, I tried to go to bed early and I just couldn't fall asleep. So I only got like four hours of sleep. Then I stayed up, got the PS5, did a couple errands, went to the grocery store, um, came back and then streamed Spider-Man for the day. And then I didn't actually take a nap or anything. So when I fell asleep that night, I was exhausted. Went to bed at a normal time, like 10, 11, and woke up at like 7 the next day. Felt completely rested. Didn't wake up in the middle of the night like I usually do. Um, and uh, I've literally, because I reset my sleep schedule, I've just been doing that ever since. So every night at around 10, 30, 11, I've been getting pretty tired. And then I'll just fall asleep. And I wake up the next morning at 7. And it's pretty wild. And so I've been getting a ton done. I've been starting earlier. And uh, it's been pretty sweet. Usually I like staying up late. Like I'm a late, I'm a, I'm a night owl. Like I like staying up till 3 a.m. and reading comics or like catching up on shows and stuff and just kind of like decompressing. But I mean, this has also been very nice. So I, I can probably see us going three colors. I feel like it's greedy. We can cut these guys. We don't have any real way to exploit them. Uh, search can be a one drop. We also have, I mean, we have cult Cultivate Dryad. We have five Fixing Lands. I mean, could probably take Hermit out. We don't have any Hermit, um, exploits. And we also have Biogenic Ooze, which is very similar, but also combos with Acidic Slime. Probably take Pelucranos out. I love Pelucranos, but I, th I think it's just worse questing beast almost. Bring in casualties. Maelstrom Pulse is just really solid. And this is 23. I actually think this is probably our best 23. And I kind of like it. <laughs> uh, so this is one, two, three, four, five. Seven black sources. I kind of like that. Gives us also search and secure tribe builder black and cultivate. Uh, blue, we have one, two three four six probably gonna go seven there as well green we have six seven eight nine ten six, seven eight nine ten eleven yeah i think ten seven seven one two three four five six seven three four five six seven this is ten seven seven my my concern is that i, I do want blue early for riffling cloud skate and i want double blue for both uh upheaval and double black for casualties and and double blue for euro so I think this is correct. But the funny thing is, like, ever since I've changed my sleep schedule, I, I wake up and I feel like I, like, wake up. I'm not, like, groggy. I'm not waking up to an alarm. Like, it'll be like, I'll wake up, I'll look at the clock, it's like 7.20, and I'm, like, wide awake. And I'm like, wow, this is... I feel really rested. And it's been pretty wild. Like, I, I'm actually... I'm pleasantly surprised at uh at the results like i never thought it would like have this kind of an effect or you know make a difference not only did we get euro again we got fallen shinobi again as well <laughs> which i say thinking that uh we literally get this dude like every other draft so Oh, 
we do have to wait for someone to getting up before 10 a.m. is just not a thing if I yeah I mean like it wasn't a thing if I could help it either but like if it's 9 a.m. and I've gotten eight to nine hours of sleep then like I, I don't really care what time it is like the the arbitrary the arbitrary reading on a clock is not really affect my you know my my uh my rested level if I feel well rested and I've got enough sleep then I'm good to go uh this hand seems very good We do need lands. If we can draw like two lands in a row, I'm gonna be like real thrilled about our life choices. Well, see, if you're working through to 11, then you're probably waking up around like 132, you know? Eureka's Castle. Do -do 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 -do. We're looking for a land here, because... Well, we found a land, so they probably like, Oh, he doesn't have any more lands in his hand. And I'm going to be like, Yeah, I don't have any more lands. I got no lands in my hands. So, you know. Man, they got a windswept teeth, a marsh flats, a blood crypt, a forest, and an av. Sure. We're definitely attacking with Dryad next turn and Fallen Shinobiing. I gotta get my kids up for school! The real Frank is not gonna be happy when he wakes up. What does that mean? Chandra. This deck is really weird. Wear tear, Avison's pill. Oh, they're just gonna. Oh, they're just gonna let me attack. Wow. Okay. And black and blue and green and fallen boy bounce this guy right now. Well, we hit two lands. And now they can probably kill Fallen Shinobi with Chandra. Oh, and we bounce this guy so we don't even get to play the other land. Oh, that's unfortunate. There's a lot of things that went wrong here. Yep, I figured that would happen. That's fine. I mean, I probably should have killed the Chandra. I don't know, man. Like, the thing is, like, we didn't have any land drops. I wanted to hit something. We could have hit, like, Gristlebrand, you know, a Planeswalker. We could have hit something good. Instead, we did hit two lands, which we do need. So it's kind of like... I mean, if we can play Dryad and then get a land next turn, we can just Casualties of War, kill Planeswalker, Mox, Creature, Land. Like, that seems insane, and I'm really sad that we didn't get a land this turn. Nikachu, thank you so much for the raid. Really appreciate it. Super early. Early morning raids. Um, 
two, three, Dryad. We don't have to even crack this. You should attack with Crater Hoof and then swap it for Fallen Shinobi. I don't know. This, for some reason, I don't feel like that's a thing I can do. Yeah, we could have metamorphed their mocks. I don't know. I don't know if I love it, but I think I have enough faith in my deck to hit one more land. Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Now I can. I'm definitely going to copy this Golos if we don't hit a land. So. I mean, we still get rid of these four, right? If we hit, like, creature, artifact, planeswalker, land, if we hit a land, which is pretty backbreaking. Probably gonna get rid of Blood Crypt as well. Alistair Kane! Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. How you been, buddy? Thank you! Firestarter X, thanks so much for the resub. Welcome back. Land. <sighs> Questing Beast is pretty good, I guess. One, two, three for copy Golos. We have one, two. Where's my lands? Three, four, seven. This is actually pretty bad. This is unreal, though. Like, with turn six, I've missed three land drops. Come on. Actually, this is nice because it does kill Chandra. One, two, three, four, five. So it does keep them off of... Like, they lose either Golos or Chandra here, so... Yeah, okay. Chandra it is. One of my coworkers didn't think coming in with COVID was that big of a deal. Jesus. Just, I just want more land. I don't think it's really asking for a lot. Well, killing your things is back on the menu, boys. Finally. Alright, let's just insta-cast this. Artifact, creature... They don't have an enchantment, right? Land, planeswalker. Choose an artifact. This one. Creature, this one. Land... This one, and this one. Black. Oh, we gotta do a thing. Hold on. Dang it. <laughs> okay, let's do it again. One, two, three, four. Cast. Austin Acid, stay positive, buddy. Vaccines are, are looking positive. Uh, green, black. Black, green. 
That seemed good. Wow, Casualties of War, man. That card's bananas. Okay, Casualties of War just wins you the game. Sounds good. <laughs> oh. Casually Tees of War. Just, I kind of want Thought Season here. Like, we're playing 17 mana sources along with Search, Arbor Elf, Sakura Tri Builder, Elves of Deep Shadow, and Cultivate. So, I'm like, where, where are the lands at, guys? Oh, Casualties of War has got that ability, buddy. Believe you me. Oh, I kind of like this. Turn two, Elves of Deep Shadow, and... Actually... Might get Overgrown Tomb and play Elves. I'll keep it. This hand looks good. They can't cast, like, Duretti. Uh, we have definitely been enjoying Season 2 of Mandalorian, for sure. We've been watching every episode. We haven't seen today's, obviously. I don't know. I don't even know what time it goes live, but... I kind of feel like Overgrown Elves is a little better here. So next turn we can Tar Pit Thoughtseize. Also, once you put Timothy Oliphant in uh, in any show, I'm way on board. Justified is literally my, my all-time favorite show, and I've watched it like five times, so... I'm very tempted to just block here. We don't actually need this guy. So next turn they can play pretty much any of these. We're going to take the Doretti, I think. One, two, three, four. Actually, we can take... Actually, I think, I mean, I think I'm more scared of Doretti than Bloodbraid Elf here. Maybe. Like, Bloodbraid Elf is two dudes. Doretti's just a dude. And they have to use their food either way. Yeah, I'm going to take Bloodbraid Elf. And next turn we can actually just Maelstrom Pulse Doretti. Not sure. Show me Doretti again. They didn't activate Doretti? Alright. Well. <laughs> Show me that smile. Why is it in my head? Oh, what up, Brett? Brett, are you working from home? What's your sitch? What's your sitch? this guy
I think I like Gargaroth better here. One, two, three, four, five. They can't do any. They can't uh, ultimate tireless uh, Golos next turn. I was gonna say tireless Tracker for some reason. Doki. Well, they got their own casualties of war. And a Tide Hollow Sculler. So they have black, black, green. They don't have a second green, though. That's interesting. Kind of tempted to bounce this guy. And just get in there with the gargs. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, I guess they got their green. I mean, they have to get two things, though, which is significantly worse than ours. That's yeah. That's 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 correct. That's what happened. I'm just gonna get a second black here. I mean, we can crater hoof next turn, but it's not a lot. They're also probably going to play Tide Hollow Sculler. Oh, uh, you don't have to play all your drafts by, by... You don't have to play all your rounds by in an hour and a half. That's just when the entry goes down. You have until 3 p.m. Yeah, Standard Beat. What Standard Beat said. So, Shorty, definitely get in there if you if you if you're feeling it. Seems good. Sure. Ganok Teague and Pernicious Deed. You got it. It's actually pretty fascinating. One, two, three. Island. Swamp.
I think we just metamorph bounce Golos attack with everyone. They block here. They take. F oh, they're not gonna. We're not gonna attack. Tide Hollow Skull are still in hand. Sure, we'll just attack Dak. Mm-hmm. All right, well. <laughs> Is it like some dis? Are you talking about the Vintage Cube in general? feeling <laughs> yep seems good Come on, casualties of war one time. Oh, Skuller's gone. Sure, face fetters, you got it. Phantasmal image seems good. Interesting. We can copy Ruffling Cloud Skate again. Oh, and then we can bounce our guy. Oh, that's pretty good. Copy you. Bounce you. All right, Metamorph, what are we copying? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They have 10 mana. Use five of it to play Golos again. They can actually play Golos and Niv-Mizzet next turn, which is pretty bad. Right, they can activate Golos, I know. I'm just trying to figure out if I bounce it because I want to avoid that. I 
I mean, there's no way to unlock Hoof, though, is the problem. Yes, there, ideally you want to unlock Hoof, but there's no way to do that. Your favorite and mine. They hit Maelstrom Pulse and Wear Tear. Alright, well. Sure. Oh, God. No, I mean, copying Stellar gets something out of their hand means they get to Golos this turn, and Golosing in their deck is very scary, so. Yeah, I'm just going to go to the next game. For obvious reasons. Um, maybe upheaval is actually better than I thought it was. Yeah, all right. I mean, I think I think also like the lesson. Maybe I should have just taken. Uh, yeah, I think I definitely should have taken Golos instead of um um De La Bloodbraid Elf. Like Bloodbraid Elf is annoying, but that's pretty much it. This hand actually seems really good. If we draw Mox, I'm gonna be real excited. All right. Uh, I don't like Grudge because we don't have any red source, <laughs> so we have no way to cast it, and we also don't have any uh, way to put it in the graveyard. So I'm not gonna. I don't want to bend over backwards for a Grudge. We already have Maelstrom Pulse, Casualties of War, Acidic Slime, things like that. So. Let's get black. Hmm. All right. I mean, sure, I have Dryad in hand, right? But <laughs> it's like... I mean, if we hit a land, we can play Dryad and Basalt Monolith, which is kind of nice. Wow, that was pretty fascinating. That kind of... Helped. One, two, three, four, five. We have six. Um, I think we just play ooze here. That was interesting. Sure. So what you're saying is basically I get to play this guy, bounce Gadok Teague and kill Well, we're gonna destroy an artifact, creature, and a land. 
Uh, get rid of your... Man, Casualties of War has been bananas in both of these games. All three of these games, I should say. We just cast Crater Hoof here, right? It's 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, plus 12. It's 22 damage, right? So... It's not a cube if you don't win at least a match with a Crater Hoof, right? All right, all right, got him. What does Decimate do? I'm looking it up right now. Destroy an artifact, creature, land, enchantment. Um, so here's the thing about Decimate. Decimate is great. Um, but you have to have targets, all the targets, right? If there's no enchantment, you can't cast it. Which is awkward, plus casualties being able to hit planeswalkers. And what else? Isn't there one other thing? Aren't there six things you can hit with? Land, creature, enchantment, artifact, planeswalker. I think that might just be five. Yeah, I, th I think the I think the extra two mana is worth being able to cast it when not everything is on the board, and also being able to cast also being able to hit um, planeswalkers. Yeah, exactly. Like, if they don't have a creature, but you want to kill a land and enchantment, you're like, I guess I'll kill my own guy. Or if you don't have a creature, I guess I won't cast this. I, I think it's way too... I, I think that's... I think that restriction is going to happen way more frequently than you'd, than you'd like. All right. Fascinating. I see. It's going to be one of those games, huh? I meant to get a blue, just to be clear. That was a that was an accident. It's okay. I've been been redeemed. I'm actually tempted to copy Crucible. They put a counter on it. I 
play a land. Yeah, I'm actually going to copy Crucible here. Which, had I done that, I actually would have played Metamorph. Oh, actually, no, we had to play the Mystery Reinforce this turn to get it in the graveyard, so. Did they not put a counter on it? That's kind of funny. Sick smokestack, bro. Sick cru crucible, bro. Oh, they just did it wrong. So they didn't want to sack on their turn. Got it. Fascinating. Here comes a worm coil engine. I bet you're very fun at parties. See, this is a match where I'll make grudge work. This is the deck I try to draft when I stopped having fun and I don't want anyone else to have fun either. Okay, well, that's the end of that. Had a good run. So you had a bad day. You got it. How do you win the game, I wonder? Oh, that's a good, that's a, that'll do. I can copy that guy. I don't think I have another island in the deck, which means I kind of have to play. Thank oh you. no, I don't have to play. We don't. We don't have to get. Xanatos, thanks for the reset, buddy. Glad, you, glad you appreciated that. Um, so next turn we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. What do we got here? Hmm. So they're going to tap Winter Orb. Get all their man manuses back. Can we wait two turns? Or do we just... I feel like copying Urza here is pretty good. I can also copy their Winter Orb. No, I can't. That's not how that works. Don't be stupid. I 
I mean, by playing this, Phantasm Image costs two. We also get to activate these two as, as blue source. Oh, they didn't actually untap their... They didn't tap their Winter Orb. Seems good. Okie dokie. Well, I guess if you want to uh, give me advantages. I could Pestermite and tap their Orb EOT. That's actually a uh, solid strategy. Fascinating. They tap the orb? Oh my god, you stupid dummy. <laughs> what is this? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Unfortunately, we have to play a blue here. Wow. Oh god. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We'll have eleven mana. So we can actually go Mole Drifter. I don't know if that's great though, right? Like <sighs> I'm so disappointed I have one blue in play right now. It's so bad. Three points. I don't even think upheaval is good here. That's the thing. But I don't think it has to be, right? Like, we could just do it next turn. All our mana is up. I mean, they have one card in hand. So, I think we're actually okay to just play land. Yeah, I definitely don't think they're going to untap and get They have one card in hand. Plus, we have Crucible as well, so it's not like it's... We have Crucible and Monolith, so, you know, I don't... I don't know. So we're going to have 12 mana after we upheaval. So we can actually go bounce everything. We're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Use 6 of it. We have 5 floating. Play a land. Go to 6. I just want to have something to put down on the board that's a threat. Like, I don't think Mull Drifter is really what we want. I hope they play something stupid like Warm Coil Engine. They're just going to... They could just activate Urza a bunch, too. <laughs> Are they gonna Woodfall Primus? Because that's kind of hilarious if we have people. Yep, cool. Also, if we get to kill that we get it back, so... 
I assume you kill Crucible here. Basalt Monolith, sure. Academy Ruins, you got it. I'm surprised they didn't activate Urza there. That seems a little weird, but alright. Okay, that's actually pretty good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we'll have nine mana. We can go upheaval. Arbor Elf. <laughs> And then they just go workshop into Warren Power Stone. Like, it sucks because they had, like... Standard Breed, that is barely English, that sentence. They had use if they had sun it first main. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I mean, I would have loved to be able to go Arbor Elf Muldrifter. That I think that would have been great, but they took three of my mana away. Still going to do it. Is there anything else to do here? No, we have Muldrifter Arbor Elf. I, I don't want Woodfall Promise on the board. I'm at, I'm at four. We have to actually get this off the board and this off the board. They're tapping Winter Orb. And they're topping, sure. Pierre, thank you so much for saying so, buddy. Really appreciate it. Man. I may come visit you in Italy once Corona's dead. Oh, you're saying if they briberied first main, then we would just they would just hoof us? Yeah, that would have been good. Man, the killing the basalt monolith was huge here. Like we could have played basalt monolith this turn. And Arbor Elf. Like, that was such a stupid play, man. One, two, three. We can discard two and one. One, two, three. Black and green. No, we still need more? Okay, another green. So now we have double black, double green. And double, double blue. Yep, Warren Power Stone, right? Basalt Monolith. Well, we do have Metamorph. What? Why? Hmm. All right. Well, that's uh, that is your prerogative, my friend. Hunter's already in here. Joke's on you. <laughs> See, that guy's pretty good. I kind of want to metamorph the Power Stone here. That seems good. You know, and go to two. What, what could go wrong? Dang it. <laughs> Well, they're gonna they're gonna play Urza at some point, but like by the time they play Urza, like I want to be able to have a bunch of stuff in play. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Like next turn we'll have six mana, so we can go questing beast. 
sure, that's fine. That's why we copied the warm power stone. We untap forest, untap forest. Yep, you got it. Don't care about the top. The tippity top, tippity tap, tap. If you're busy retaining your recent life changes a lot, dude, Italy is on my like top three places I want to visit. I, I'm I'm actually shocked that I've I've never been, and uh, it is definitely a a preferred destination for sure. One, two. Mitch, how was it? How was how how were your three years in Italy? Yeah, this guy's this guy's obnoxious because they do have uh, like a five five now. One, two, three, four, five, six. They're wonderful. Wish I could move back. Oh, man. Hmm. That doesn't do much here, but it does make tokens. Two, three. I think we just need to... Hmm. <laughs> just do it when you can take your time and fully enjoy it yeah that that's the goal i hate to go for like three days and i'm just like i've seen nothing garrick making beasts is actually pretty okay i wonder if they just trade here that would be interesting I'm also attempted to attack here and like try to kill the Urza. If they block here, it's rough, but. I don't see why they would. That would be a really weird block. Yes, that's exactly what we wanted. That's hilariously good for us. Okay. Uh -huh. What's happening right now? Okay, sure. You got it. Yep, that's pretty good. This is still game one. Oh my god. Wow, that pains me. <laughs>
there's the there's your boy. So we're just dead to this next turn. Let's just go to the next game. Alright, this is definitely a situation where I'm adding a red mana for Ancient Grudge. We don't have any red lands that we could add, do we? No. So this gives us Tribe Elder, Search, Dryad, Cultivate, this and this. This is actually six sources of red. That's not bad. I almost kind of like Trophy here as well. I mean, getting rid of Urza or... Actually, Thoughtseize is good, too. All right, let's see what we can take out here. I don't think we're the Upheaval deck. I think we can take out Upheaval. Acidic Slime seems good. Maelstrom Pulse is good. Monolith is fine. I think Shops is actually worse for them than, than a regular land. I think Shops is good, but I also don't think... Um, Like, I think it actually, it hinders your mana a lot as well if you're relying on, like, threats that are colored. Let's take out Garrick. I actually bet, I, I wonder if we are a better Eureka deck. Woodfall Primus, Crater Hoof, Ascetic Slime, Elder Gargroth. Hmm. Iffy. Snap it off. Snap. Snap it off. Snapper, snapperinos. Um. We need double blue for nothing. So I think we're going to get Verdant Catacomb, or uh, Overgrown Tomb with this guy. And then Verdant lets us get either green or black, depending on what we need. I mean, they have Winds of Abandon, so they can deal with Questing Beast that way, but... That's fine. Wow. Main phase top, huh? A bold strategy, Cotton. So now we're just getting a uh, forest here. It's your boy. Money. Oh, seven questing bugs. <laughs> so random. I guess it got us to 500. I don't, I don't, okay, Wasteland, you got it. You, are you going to actually Wasteland my Overgrown Tomb? No, you're going to use it for mana. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Choose three lands. One, two, three. Wow. It's amazing.
Well, I was hoping to get a second vintage cube in today, but I guess uh, I guess old wooded men's has had a different uh, sac. Yep, yeah, thank you. Had different plans for me. Sure, I don't give a shit about your stupid top. You force them. Holy crap, dude. <laughs> Talk about like Oh god. Talk about the fucking fun police over here. Sure. Oh, okay. I don't think top should be a mini cubes. I just don't think it's a good card. It's just an obnoxious. Like, this is super obnoxious. <laughs> what do they get rid of? Time warp? Sure. So, balance was a two for two. They discarded a card and uh, got rid of balance. We lost the land and a creature. Force of negation was a two for one. Oh, you tapped your wasteland wrong if you want to kill my overgrown tomb. Cool. You got it. Well, next time we can Muldrifter. That's kind of cool. That should hit some lands. Theoretically. In, that means in theory. Oh, I kind of want to just kill that, but I can't. Oh, yes, I can. I got an Ancient Grudge. Oh, actually, let's just try to hit lands here, right? It's Muldrift. Land. Land of the Mox. Land of the Mox. Land, 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 land of the Mox. Land of the Mox. Land, land of the Mox. Ancient Grudge. Kill this thing. Psh. da 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 Nobody wins here, regardless of the outcome. Boy, you ain't kidding, buddy. Oh, my Academy Ruins. Oh, there's a... Look at that. So you have two cards in hand, huh? Huh. A second black and a second green for that guy. One, two. Yeah, they did. They did fix the attack all. Casualties of War is looking better. All right, one step closer to the edge, and I'm about to break. I 
we're getting rid of a white source here, to be quite honest. Actually, let's get rid of the Academy Ruins. Yeah, they can just put Crucible back on top, and nobody likes that. And we're hoping for a black source. Well, that's pretty good, but we have Ancient Grudge right here. I don't understand. Black Source. Rifling Cloudscape. Don't hate it. One, two, three, four, five. Bounce this creature, attack with both. Yeah, I can see tapping Monolith being a, a solid strategy. Like, if they play Winter Orb, it's better to tap to Monolith. Because then your lands are untapped. Either way, we're going to have three mana when we untap is really what's going on. What is this? Unexpectedly absent for zero? <laughs> okay. Um, huh. Getting to replay Acidic Slime seems pretty good, and they have no cards in hand? Sure. We're keeping this guy alive because if we can casualties eventually, then we just get to kill it anyway, so. Hmm. Yep, alright. Artifact, creature, land. Let's do it again. I'm really tempted to just stick like Ulamog during Tournament Thrag Test in the deck and then just like play Eureka. <laughs> Give me pictures of Spider-Man. <laughs> oh, God. Well, 
Well, I was hoping to do a second cube draft after this, but unless the third round goes incredibly quickly, I do not see it going very well. Unfortunately, we had to get paired against the slow stacks player. Well, we actually boarded out upheaval because they're just going to win that battle, so. I think we keep this because of Maelstrom Pulse. Sure, you know what? <laughs> this seems way better for us than for you. Just way better. It's almost time for that seven day weekend? What was that, Saturday, Sunday? What did you take off? You know what? I'll take two. I feel like you're, you have like two creatures in your deck, and now all your spells cost four more. I don't understand. Or they cost two more, rather. I have no idea what the, what the the strategy behind this play was. Especially when we have Tarpit. So they can cast like a two drop this turn? Sure. They also have no blue mana? Are they gonna are they gonna winds of abandon Arthalia? Everflowing chalice for one. Got it. That guy's big and beautiful. He is beautiful. So next time we have our, our choice here. Oh, what up, Unforgiven? Yeah, they also have four minutes to win the game, so. Yeah, I was like, I was like, how's a seven-day weekend possible unless you're working next Saturday and Sunday? Okay. You got it. I'm not running, running, running. 
No, I'm not afraid of the ball. Old Man G. I'm just going to play Old Man G. I don't even care about slime here. Old Man G's got trample, so... That's where I want to be in my life. Here comes Winds of Abandon. On my gargles. Wow, to the surprise of no one. One, two, three. Let's get another green, I guess. That's sad. Three, four. So we can actually play Euro and Maelstrom Pulse their Elspeth. That actually seems fine. Oh, no attack, huh? Uh, I'm pretty sure we're up match, and we're in game three here when they have two minutes and 58 seconds on the clock. So, you know, it's not bad. Oh, now we need one more mana. Dang, I was I was off. This thing costs five. One, two, three, four, five. So we have two left over. It doesn't do anything. I still think we want to get rid of the Elspeth, though. I mean, we could cross our fingers to try to hit a land here. I think it's fine. I'm, I'm a gambling man. Ha ha! Oh, it costs two more though. Son of a biscuit. Oh, well, let's get rid of Felidar Retreat for sure. I don't care about your worn Power Stone at all, my dude. They're just gonna play Warm Power Stone for five? Sure. Not super exciting. Three, four, five. So next turn we can just Maelstrom Pulse? Eh. What? They just made this guy fly and didn't attack? Oh. Alright. Sure. One, two, three, four, five. Then we have four. Also, they could have targeted our Elspeth several times with... Uh, target creature gets plus three, plus three, and gains flying. They could have killed our Elspeth multiple times. But... They did not. I definitely feel like them playing Elspeth was 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 the game deciding play this this match or this game I guess the game deciding play this game that was a weird thing to have to say Easy take three. <laughs> we either block here or take two, and then they get to keep two guys on board, or we block one of these guys, take one extra point, and get to start picking these guys off. Seems like a no-brainer. Creature land. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. All right. That's one, two, three. Cast. Oh God, no! Don't do that. Yeah. One, two, three. Choose an artifact. This one. Creature. This one. And this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, you got it. Should have been questing beast, but I think when they have 53 seconds on the clock, I'm not super concerned with it. Actually, could I have ever flung chalice here? That might have been better. Also, we're attacking for five. Oh, we could have actually been like we've actually just killed them, right? Whatever. Like we could have dealt nine here. Thankfully, they don't know we have questing beast unless they're ghosting. In which case, my misplay is dwarfed by your amoral nature. So. <laughs> Lethal with the questing beast? Wow, I wasn't wrong. Yeah, I'm so happy it ended. Oh, man. Boy, it was a whole thing. I don't know what's going on right now. Okay, cool. <laughs> I kind of... I just want to fucking play another cube, man. <laughs> like, why even... Oh my god, dude. <sighs> so I have 33 minutes. 33 minutes is a lot for one round of cube. I don't really want to concede again because I am still recording this for YouTube. So I don't, I don't want to waste a perfectly fine video just to do another cube draft, which kind of defeats the purpose, right? Thirty-three is usually enough. Like most of my cubes are under an hour, and that takes twenty under an hour and a half, and that's and that's gonna be like twenty minutes for the draft portion itself, which means like an hour and ten minutes is usually about three rounds. So each round is essentially around like twenty-five-ish minutes. I think this is fine, but not exciting. Mox. Dang it. Well, we got two turns for Mox. That's okay. Hey, buddy. See, that's funny. I got to say, hey, buddy, and it's like, that's your name. Mox. Dang it. Ugh. Oh, interesting. I guess I get to play a Dryad and see if they counter it, which is just fine. Just fine. Just fine. You may have answered this, but have you any interest in Commander Legends drafts? Um, yes, I do, or I did, until I realized it was like a four-player event. Like, all the, all the leagues are four players. Seems good. Oh. So I'm going to definitely fall on Shinobi and kill Tefra here. That's definitely what's happening. Hopefully I can draw land too. 
I made the mistake last time of not doing that. You can also just play Questing Beast, I guess. Should be able to do 1v1. If we're able to do 1v1... Oh, are you saying you think that would be a better... Yeah, okay, I, I get it. I get it. <sighs> One, two, three, four. Come on, don't counter it. Attack your face and attack big tiffs. What up, library? Oh, wow, do we just get to get... Oh, my God. Oh, boy, that was a juicy turn. <laughs> oh, wow, I was not expecting that to work. <laughs> but then it worked. And, uh... pretty good oh, that's unfortunate Alexa what's the temperature outside right now it's 48 degrees 48 today expect a high of 54 degrees surprisingly good against Riftwing Cloudscape blue mana oh god we're loving it but up ba 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 I'm gonna do, 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 do. Can I have this guy back? That would be cool. Thanks, bro. I feel like we're way ahead right now, actually. Like, I think they used a bunch of their... Like, Treachery... Council's judgment on Dryad seems really bad. Treachery... The Treachery play seemed fine, but now, like... Like, Dryad was not a threat to you. And now we get to rebounce this guy with the uh, Fallen Shinobi. That's pretty sweet. One, two, three, four. Oh, I played a land. I always fucking play lands when I'm about to play Fallen Shinobi. And most of the time it's because I want maximum amount of mana. Oh, we're connecting. Oh, it doesn't matter. Yeah, let's cast this guy first. Ancestral in response. Sure. <laughs> cast this guy with kicks. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we're doing it. Um, uh, let's... Plus one. On this guy. Oof. I like them both. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't think I care about acidic slime right now. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're, I th actually I think we actually just want bottom you, top you, scry this guy. Um, yeah, this is actually fine. <laughs> Okie dokie. Two Jaces and a Fallen Shinobi on board. Drawing a Mull Drifter, and then we can cast Phantasmal Image after that if we'd like. You got it. I mean, I have, I still have Questing Beast. They have one card and I still have Questing Beast? Sure. Draw big moles. Scry two. Casualties of war? Oh, that just might be worth that might be worth killing off a of Jace for. Oh boy. Ugh. Black, black, green. Yeah, we're just gonna. Yeah, it's just too good. Art 
artifact, creature, land, planeswalker. Okay, we just win the game. <laughs> oh, shit. Casualties of War is a banger, dude. Casualties of War is a banger is what I just said. But you guys knew what I meant, so it doesn't really matter. Wow, that's insane. Take up people out. I just don't think we're an upheaval deck, and I think we tried to make an upheaval deck, but it's okay. It's okay. I need to get a tiny box and put a bunch of cube contenders in there. There's a bunch of cards I want to pick up. And, um... I just want to put them in the box like, this is a cube option. You know, like, Casualties of War is one of them, where it might not be in my cube right now. But I, I think it should be in there. So that way I don't have to, like, always think, like, what are some of the cards that I was thinking of replacing? I'll, I'll always just have this box ready to go, you know? Uh, yeah, this is a keeper. I mean, we got a Euro and a Sakura Tribelder. We're definitely hoping to hit some lands here, but... God, if this match goes anything like that... Oh, we also have a Cultivate. I didn't even see the Cultivate. That's really good. I mean, Fallen Shinobi hit, like, two lands there, so... This is actually looking really good. Yeah, it could be like a cube sideboard, right? That's exactly what it kind of is. There's always so many cards that I want to put in the cube, and I always like have to keep like making a list. Like I, I forget what they are, and so like it'd be nice to just have a separate box where I could just put them in there. Oh, this match might go real quick. Land. Sure. I'm gonna play this first in case they want to mana tithe me, which I don't feel like dealing with here <laughs> so just to be clear if we hit another land we can casualties of war them next turn for one land boys uh usually want 360 which is enough for eight or 540 i think it's 540 yeah oh that's that's cute One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We can just go... Okay, we're going to go Woodfall Primus. And Phantasmal Image the Woodfall Primus next turn. That's probably going to be game, right? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, so we're just going to play these two. And we also get to keep up Mana Tithe in case they want to Mana Tithe us. So that's going to be... Also, if they kill the Woodfall Primus, it gets to come back. Because of Phantas Phantasmal Image, so. Guess we're not going to do that. One, two, one, one, two, three. Yeah, so we're still going to play just regular Woodfall Primus, I guess. Let's get rid of this. I don't know what they have, but if they have, like, a Venser, like, I don't feel like dealing with that bullshit, so. Well, that's going to die. <laughs> well, it's interesting they use Council's Judgment again on a creature that they don't really... That doesn't really matter. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... Thank you. I mean, we're just going to knock them out of this game. I want to just do another cube draft, so. Gaming champ, 28 months, man. Thank you so much. Really appreciate you, my dude. Oh, Force of Negation. With Fractured Identity? Oh, wow. Is this second from the top? Oh, yeah, so we just get to draw them again next turn. All right, well. They could play... The game might not be over now. There could be a Teferi here. Land Teferi. Has to be two of the cards. Then we would fall Primus, I guess. That uh, doesn't really... Uh, 
Let's attack first. Oh, we don't have to attack. We just trophy again. Vintage cube ends in 20 minutes. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out at manatraders.com. It's a great way to save 15%. Uh, for the first three months of any subscription, it's a great way to rent cards. It's a great way to test out formats, play Magic Online. Don't buy all the cards you need. Just rent them from Manitraders.com. It's a great service. Great way to support the channel. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Head over to twitch.tv slash and give me a subscription. Really appreciate that. It's a great way to support the channel. I'm here every day. And I'll see you guys next time.